Um, it, jazz couldn't happen. It couldn't have started anywhere except for the United States. And it, I mean, it goes back to, you know, the slave trade and all the influences and um, from Africa. And um, but yeah, it had to happen here. And it, it is an American art form for sure. In the textbook definition of jazz, it's a combination of European harmonies with African American rhythms. Um, and I think that that is the, the basis of it. The splitting of so many different genres within jazz is that there were so many people who had their own unique ideas um, in America that they were all trying to do exactly what they heard, what they had from based on their influences from all sorts of different places. Um, and I think that America just ended up being the, the perfect venue for that. It's completely individual. I mean, it's just a total expression of emotion and self. But then you get back in the ensemble and you just swing it as hard as you can with all your friends. And mm -hmm. that's just great. Uniqueness is a lot like jazz, how you're free to be yourself, you're free to, and it's kind of a mixing pot of like races and religions and jazz, there's many different types of jazz, there's cool jazz, free jazz, mop, like there's all different kinds of jazz, just like there's all different kinds of Americans and ways to express yourself in America, there's different ways to express yourself through jazz. It doesn't have to be the same as the solo, but you can take ideas and kind of weed them out and put them back into your ensemble. It, it's from the people, really, not from the government, I would say. Like, mm -hmm. the ability to think that way is just from hanging around with people who, who will think in, in those ways with you.